I go straight up the highway normally. Good morning. Yesterday I said huge team appearance at Bowie. Try and get up there with a good few of the team. Not so huge. Still no teammates. And a little bit more of an opposition. You gonna come race with us? Uh, <laughs> Mate, that is next level. Is it a paint my bike job or? Uh, the Red Hook Alley Ah, yeah. So it's not a custom paint job, it's just a, that's an off the rack. Yeah, it's a limited edition. Awesome. A little unofficial test. So I'm gonna run the Sony Action Cam. I'll put the uh, GoPro on Jesse's bike. We'll see how we go in a bit of a comparison. This is your home patch, isn't it? So how do you win it? I think there'll be a break. Last time it was on, it was an early move that went in lap two. All right. And two guys uh, stay away with Nick Cupid taking the win. Chris has left me in charge of the camera while the race is on. The only sensible thing to do would be to go find a local coffee shop. Continental Cycling Team vlog uh, kicking off our first episode is going to be how to win a team's time trial without really trying. How do you find it, boys? Oh. Average 44. 44. That was tough. Here he is, the man himself. Nice one. Fucking, he hit me early just on that corner there. It was just the right time. Quite a lot of footage you might have to sift through. So. Better. Nice one, gents. Rower. 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 Ergo records. In the meantime, I'll just tell you a little bit about the race. Uh, hopefully, thanks to Marcus for getting some of that footage. Jesse and Michael Potter whoo, smashed it the first few laps. I tried, got across, and then you're going to see a lesson in cornering. Those weapons. A lesson in cornering from Michael Potter, which should be on my camera and probably on his camera as well. What happened in the sprint, Jess? Perfectly, sort of just before I was going to go because I was in front and came flying past me and yeah, got it pretty easy really. I was sprinting, max sprinting, just to get on his wheel and then, yeah, the line just came. Okay, quick chat when we get home, just starting to rain. Well, we'll, talk, we'll talk about the race in a little bit, but while I've got the opportunity, a lot of people ask me about riding with the family and with the kids, and I think I've said this before, there's no secret to it, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. I've just come home from a ride, and there is no one here. 
Okay, so what does that mean? People without families, you, you get home from a ride, you make yourself some food, you probably upload to Strava, check Instagram. When we get home from a ride... Hello girls! How's Kira? Your Lycra probably stays on for about half an hour because you are straight in with the kids. Number one tip with family, as soon as you get home from a ride, you go straight in. So that's the tip. I've just come home, they're not here. Just make yourself some food. Flick your sport on. What should be a cycling? No. Oh no. So yeah, I'm panicking here. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity for value add. Dishwashers, washing machines, general house tidiness. Get on top of it. Don't waste your time talking to people on YouTube. Right. Just in time. Okay, you can help me with this. This is cold. I reckon this is the best coffee I've ever made. At least the dishwasher's empty. Quick race report for now. Big thanks to Marcus Cooley who got some footage. I don't know if it's any good. I haven't looked at it yet. Doesn't matter because I'm, I'm, we're going to have a look at this one later in the week. It's going to be how to corner like a Hubbard and how to corner like a pro. Insert picture of Michael Potter here. Look, B Bowie Worlds is a hot dog course, so two 180 turns. Potter and Jesse jammed it on the first lap. Uh, got a little gap. I attempted, well, actually did get across. Got across to them at the end of the first lap. <laughs> rounded the corner badly, and they were gone. So I exploded, went back to the bunch. Little bit of me is delighted I didn't have to sit on Potter's wheel for a lot of that. The group rolled quite well, and eventually we got a little group of four away towards the end. Yeah, from a personal perspective, I was never gonna win that sprint, so I had a crack on the last lap, didn't work, and um, yeah, so I didn't get a podium or anything, but I actually enjoyed it. Well, still schooled by people who can corner, but enjoyed it, and definitely got something out of it. I'll leave you with a little poll. Where's the poll of vote? Dan raced yesterday, Dan Vanland raced yesterday afternoon as we saw. He was going to come and do Bowie with us this morning. We had a set meeting point and a set time. 6.45 for argument's sake. Now he texts saying that he's going to be late. Now I'd like to point out he didn't give us any idea how late he was going to be. We waited till 6.47. No Dan, so we rolled out. Was that a bad bloke move or is that justified? Now I, I will say two things. I was late for a Sydney Uni ride a couple of weeks ago. I was about 13 minutes late. late. Didn't expect anyone to wait. Deal with it, Chris. The other thing is we were going to a race. So you're actually trying to get somewhere at a time. I do feel bad about it. He probably wasn't far behind us. And also the guys coming back to racing. Uh, what do you think? Is there a set time you're allowed? And as the latey, personally, I think you need to be a little bit more, this is how exactly late I'm going to be. You leave it in the hands of the people who are waiting for you. Sorry, Dan. Haven't actually texted him yet. You'll see this. You'll blow up. Come on. That was actually a really good weekend. Good to be back. I'll see you later on.